Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving linear equations. I'm assuming that you've been watching the previous videos in this series. If not, just go on my website and look under solving linear equations and you should find the other tutorials there. Okay, so if we continue with what we've been doing so far, you'll notice that in these two examples, what we're looking at now is equations where we have more than one x term. You'll notice I've got an x term here, the 7x, and I've got another x term here, the 2x. So we're looking at how we go about solving equations like this. Well, what we need to do is gather the x terms all on one side of the equals and the other terms, the constants, on the opposite side of the equals. And it doesn't matter really which side you decide to group the x terms on, but generally it's preferred that you take the x term that is the biggest, you go for that side that contains the biggest x term. So in this example here, 7x is greater than 2x. So I'm going to gather my x terms on the left hand side. So what that means is I'm going to subtract the 2x from both sides. So in the usual way then we'll just take our equation, we've therefore got 7x minus 20 and what I'm going to do is take away the 2x from this side. But if I take it away from this side, remember I must take it away from the other side of the equation as well. So we'll just write that in red to demonstrate that. So what does it give me? Well, we've got 7x take away 2x, so that reduces down to 5x. So therefore we've got 5x, and we've got this constant term minus 20. And what are we left with now? Well, 2x take away 2x, that goes to 0, and we're just left with the constant 5. Now we should be familiar with this if you've looked at my previous tutorials. We've now got one x term and two constants. And we need to remove this constant here. And the only way we're going to do that is by adding 20 to both sides. So I won't do any more of the stages in red like I did here. We'll just take it as understood. If we add 20 to the left hand side, we're just going to be left with 5x because minus 20 plus 20 will be 0. And if we add 20 to the 5, we're going to have 25. And now we divide both sides by 5 to get rid of this 5 here, leaving us with x, and x equals 25 divided by 5, which is going to be 5. OK, well, that's one way of doing it in the way that I would recommend selecting the side where you've got the biggest x term on. But it doesn't matter if you decided to group the x terms on the right hand side. Not that I would advise it, but it will still work. I'll show you. Suppose we take our equation again. We've got 7x then minus the 20 equals 2x plus 5. And this time, let's say we decide to subtract the 7x from both sides. So we've therefore got our equation at the moment, 7x minus 20. We're going to get rid of this 7x. It's a plus 7x, so we need to subtract 7x. And then we do exactly the same then to the other side of the equation, that is subtract 7x. So what do we therefore have? Well. 7x minus 7x is 0. It leaves us with minus 20 on the left hand side. On the right hand side we've got 2x minus the 7x which is going to be minus 5x and we've got the plus 5. Now when we've got an equation like this from my previous video I showed you that if you've got a negative x term like this on its own, it's a good idea to add that 5x in this case to both sides. That would give us 5x minus 20 equals 5, and you could solve it from there. But I'm just going to get rid of this 5 here, 
and I can get rid of that 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. So if I do that, we've got minus 20 minus another 5, which is going to be minus 25. And we've got minus 5x, and then we've got 5, take away 5, because we're subtracting 5 from both sides. That's going to give me 0. So I'm just left with a minus 5x. Now we need to get rid of the minus 5 in front of the x, and we do that by dividing both sides by minus 5. And that, therefore, we're going to have minus 25 divided by minus 5 equals x. And minus 25 divided by minus 5 is going to give me plus, plus 5, or just simply 5. So therefore, x equals 5 obviously agreeing with what we've got here. So what I'd encourage you to do with any of these equations is I would suggest you do it this way, but do experiment. Have the confidence to try many different versions. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, you should eventually end up with the same answer, x equals 5. You might like to take this equation, for instance, and instead of subtracting 2x, first of all, what about getting rid of the minus 20 by adding 20 to both sides? Try that, OK, and see how you go. OK, with number 2, I've selected another equation here which should reflect other ideas. You might even like to give this a try at this stage. Just give you a moment to pause the video if that's the case. OK, welcome back if you did give this a go. Well, if I stuck to what I said here by looking at both sides, looking at the x terms, selecting the bigger of the two x terms, you'll notice that x, or 1x, is bigger than minus 7x. So with this example, I would want to gather my x terms on the right-hand side and gather the constants on the left-hand side. So I want to get rid of that minus 7x. And the only way I can do that is by adding 7x to both sides. So at the moment, we've got 4 minus 7x on the left. And if I add 7x to the left-hand side, I've got to add 7x to the right-hand side. So we'll just put that in red there. And what does that give us? Well, on the left-hand side, minus 7x plus 7x, that goes to 0. We're left with 4. So therefore, 4 equals, and on the right-hand side, we can only group up the x terms. So we've got x plus 7x, which is 8x. And then we've got the constant minus 12. We've now got to get rid of the minus 12. And the only way we do that is by adding 12 to both sides. So therefore, 4 add 12 is going to give us 16. And that's going to equal 8x, because minus 12 plus a 12 on this side goes to 0, just leaving us with the 8x. Now we need to divide both sides by the 8. And if we divide both sides by the 8, we therefore have x equals 16 divided by 8, which is 2. Now again, with this one, we could do this the other way around. OK, so let's just go for this equation again. We'll take 4 minus 7x equals x minus 12. Suppose you did decide to group the x terms on the left-hand side. Then, if that was the case, we've got 4 minus 7x. And I want to remove this x from the right-hand side. This is a plus x, OK? We're just looking at the sign in front of it. So it's a plus x. The only way I get rid of it is to subtract x from both sides. So I put minus x there. And we've got x minus 12 on the right and we subtract x from the right-hand side. So what do we have then? Well, on the left, we've got the constant 4. We can group up the x terms. Minus 7x minus x is minus 8x. And then on the right-hand side, x, take away that x, is 0. 
and we're left with minus 12. Take care there, it's not 12, but it's the minus 12. Now we've got to get rid of this constant so that we have just the x terms left on the uh, left hand side here. So we need to get rid of the 4. It's a plus 4, okay, because the sign in front of it is a plus. So we need to subtract 4 from both sides. Subtracting 4 from 4 gives 0, just leaves us with minus 8x. We subtract 4 from this side, we've got minus 12, minus another 4 is going to be minus 16. And to get x, we just need to divide both sides by negative 8. So x equals minus 16 divided by minus 8. And therefore, x equals minus divided by minus, that will give us a plus value. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And that agrees with exactly that version. Okay? So, hopefully you're starting to see that it doesn't really matter which way you do these equations as long as you stick to the rule that whatever you do to one side you do to the other. Try and experiment, as I said earlier, try and experiment with different ways of doing these equations to gain that confidence to see that it doesn't matter that you should still end up with the same answer. Okay, well, hope that's given you an idea on how to do these ones. You might like to take a look at the summary exercise, which if you're looking on my website, appears below this particular video.